Welcome back to Front Row Review. Uh, we're ending off our horror month this this month, <laughs> this year, today, hopefully. Wait a minute, I gotta start again. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Front Row Review. Uh, we're ending off our horror month with a couple new or a new DVD here. Um, but we got a couple of special guests with us. I'm Vince Maniachi, and this is my wife, Karen. And I'm Dave DeGrace. And I'm Becky Grace. We are doing the review to Drag Me to Hell. See that? Drag Me to Hell. Where we're finishing up our horror month, long horror month review. For October. Vince, we need cue cards for you. Okay, our review is of Drag Me to Hell. Um, so I got to see this in the theaters, and Karen and I got to see this in the theaters when it was out. And since I guess Dave and Becky both didn't get to see it in there, why don't you guys go ahead and start? All I can say about it was I absolutely loved it. I thought it was one of Sam Raimi's best movies. I also like this movie. I too enjoyed this movie very much. I really enjoyed this movie as well. So basically this movie is your uh, good old fashioned gypsy curse movie. Yeah, and there hasn't been a really good Gypsy Curse movie in a long time. And if anyone can do something like that, it's Sam Raimi and pull it off. And pull it off with just, you know, van just doing it fantastic, fantastically. I was really excited and hyped to go see this movie, and I'm glad I did. This was a great movie. I really liked it. This one had more creepier things in it. The one thing I gotta say about this movie is I thought it was funny. I was laughing. Oh, yes! Talk about Sam Raimi getting back to his roots. The horror movie that's absolutely hilarious and has you laughing and screaming at the same time. We watched the unrated version. And that was that was one thing about the DVD, okay, that I can say that kind of a little bit disappointed me. I mean, I think that, I think there's, from what I remembered of the theatrical version, and now seeing the unrated director's cut, I was expecting a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Uh, there, I think there was a little more blood, but no that's about it. I didn't or... really see any extra scenes or anything new to the film. No. And like classic Sam Raimi style, the blood is just overdone. I mean, when it comes out, it comes out like Niagara Falls. Is Multiple <laughs> colors and pussy and <laughs> Evil Dead 2 style. Yeah, this is, it, this is definitely... It was almost too, when I, especially when I watched it the first time at the theaters, it was almost like I could totally tell which parts that Sam Raimi really had in this film. You know, because it, it's also his uh, his brother, I think it is, Ivan Raimi, that, that helped write it, I think. And, uh, and, and I could totally tell the parts that Sam Raimi did. I mean, there, there were, because... It was reminiscent of, like, the Evil Dead trilogy. Stuff banging around, people getting thrown across the room. And it's classic Sam Raimi style with all the crazy camera angles and the fast, you know, close-ups. And, and the amazing sound editing with sounds coming from all over every direction. Yeah, that, well, that's something with Sam Raimi films you, you're, you're expecting, you're waiting for, so. And anyone who likes Sam Raimi, who likes his Evil Dead movies and the Spider-Man movies, you know, if you haven't gone and picked up or seen this, absolutely, absolutely go out and get it because, you know, it's on the top of his list as one of his best films. Absolutely. Horror films. Anyway. I would say uh, it doesn't have very many extras on it, so maybe if you just wanted to rent it, but I would say if you're a Sam Raimi fan, it's definitely worth buying. So let's talk, let's talk about the extras then. Did you watch the extras on here? They, they were really good. I mean, it was it, most of it is just it's a behind the scenes making of, and it, some of it's. It, I mean, if you're into that and watching those that kind of extras, it's right up your alley. And most of it was really informative, and it was interesting to see. <laughs> Alright, from a 1 to 5, is that our scale? Yep. For Drag Me to Hell. For the movie. For the movie. 
me personally would have to give it five Normans. Wow. Wow. I really like this movie. And for me, uh, for the movie, I would have to give the movie itself five Normans. Now for the for the for the DVD, I would actually have to give it. I'd say three Normans, because with the lack uh, with the lack of extras to it, and again, it says unrated director's cut, but there's not really anything big different with it. No, there's not. So it was kind of it's kind of a disappointment as far as the DVD goes. But like like I said, they're probably going to come out with like 18 different versions of this thing. I wish they'd come out with a lot more than this. Yeah. But yeah, it's still a good movie. So what do you think of it, Dave and Becky? You know, I didn't see the movie in the theaters, so that's why I went out and bought it. And yeah, the special features aren't that great, so don't buy this for the special features. Buy it for the movie. And it's an absolute 5 out of 5 because I enjoyed myself so much watching this. I laughed and, you know, I jumped a few times and it's a classic gypsy curse movie and it's classic Sam Raimi. It's a lot of fun and absolutely rent this or buy it for the month of October and you won't be disappointed. Something paranormal going on here. Something paranormal going on here. Yeah, no. Roof started moving. I also would have to say that I'm gonna agree with everybody else. I'm giving the movie a five out of five. It was absolutely outstanding. Sam Raimi's best movie in a long time. <laughs> Spider-Man 3. <laughs> and uh, even though... What? The, what, was that? what was that? I had something in my throat. Oh. And uh, even though the, there's not many extras on the movie, the, the production diaries are good. It would have been nice to have a commentary or some more behind-the-scenes stuff, but definitely a 5 out of 5.